Afternoon, CMP. How are you? Great. I'm doing great. Good to see you again. And, and welcome. MC2 Bros in here in the Chief Naval Personnel's office to talk about DOD Force of the Future. Now, sir, that phrase has been thrown around a lot lately. And sailors are probably asking the question, what does that mean for them, for their careers, and for their families? Yeah, that's a really great question, uh, and I'm happy to talk about it. This, um, if, this, if sailors would just recall all the things we've been talking about you know, over the last year uh, about how to attract and retain our great sailors, uh, all you got to do is think about future, uh, force of the future uh, effort in DOD as a much larger version of that across all the services. So it's part of a bigger effort. It sure is. Yep. Right, right. Now, um, many of the ideas are similar to CIP, expanded maternity leave, um, improved career management, and uh, tools that, uh, that help govern promotions. Is that correct? It sure is. Huh. You got exactly right. So uh, there are a whole lot of other ideas that are out there underneath the f uh, force of the future. Um, but we're in draft version 2.0, and we're studying that. The Navy's been participating in the working groups all along. So I feel very comfortable with where we're headed. Uh, uh, but we also have a lot of other things going on inside the Navy that are complementary to this effort. Uh, and I, I would argue that the Navy's leading in a lot of the, uh, the kind of initiatives we're seeing coming out of the future, uh, force of the future. When you think about career and admission program and career flexibility and maternity leave, our secretary is the only service secretary to triple maternity leave across DOD uh, as an example. But we're also looking at expanded CDC hours across the fleet, and we're doing a lot in terms of uh, how we would train sailors differently in the future. That's kind of an inside Navy thing, but it's complementary to the effort that's going on across DOD. Also think about the PFA program and our, and our uh, attempts to set in motion this notion that we, we ought to be a, a better, uh, a healthier force and, and really have a culture of fitness across the Navy. So all of those things uh, have been developed uh, with great feedback from sailors in the fleet. And uh, we're, trying to, we're trying to scrub the good ideas and, and, and pick up on where it really makes a difference. All right, great. So, sir, um, where does the Force, Force of the Future report go from here? Yeah, we'll, we're going to probably go through another couple drafts here. Uh, we, we get a draft, we study it, we provide our feedback, and it goes back into the wash cycle, if you will. Uh, so we're expecting a final draft to probably be released sometime in the fall. And uh, as those drafts come out, we'll continue to connect with the sailor, or with our sailors and let them know what it means and what's going on. Uh, but right now, uh, I think I really like where we're headed, uh, the intent of this effort is consistent with what we're doing and have been doing in the Navy for the last year. So I see good outcomes for our sailors in the future. Awesome. Well, thank you, CMP, for answering these uh, questions and being with us today. Great. Thanks, right. Thank you. Have a great day. And thank you guys for watching.